Hello there, my name is Paul Ellis and I run a cookery school in West Sussex. And what you're going to see today is only a snip of what we can do. Have a look, the food is absolutely fantastic. I've soaked my gabanzo overnight for 12 hours. That swells them up and it reduces the cooking time. I've put my beans into a pan of cold water and I've cooked them for about an hour to two hours, depending on how long you soak your gabanzo or chickpea for. So I've cooked these for about an hour and a half and to test to see that they are cooked, I put my knife on top and they're nice and mushy like they are now, that tells me they are cooked. So the gabanzo or the chickpea is a, is a great um, a great dish for hummus. So I'm just going to go through that again. So I've soaked my chickpea overnight for 12 hours. It reduces the cooking time. I've cooked my gabanzo chickpea for one to two hours. Now if you want you can add some garlic, you can add some onion, you can add some bay leaf, you can add some flavour to your peas while you're, while you're cooking. So that's one of the ideas, uh, one of the recipes that you can use uh, for the, the gabanzo. They've got many uses, I mean they're great for vegetarians, they're very high in protein. Um, I normally can use them for, um, to make a Thai chickpea curry, um, they can do a, a chickpea um, and smoked garlic soup, really, really, really nice. And that's how we cook the gabanzo bean.